Happy Home Brew Wednesday, folks. Ryan here, enjoying the speckled heifer from my partial mash Home Brew Wednesday episode a few weeks ago. I think it was episode four. It was called Partial Mashing. I'm very creative in my titles. <sighs> this really turned out to be a good recipe to do if you can get to Northern Brewer or have Northern Brewer delivered to your area. I recommend trying this, especially if you haven't done partial mashing before. It's really easy. It's a lot easier than I was expecting. It takes about twice as much time as um, an extract brew. Well, you know, if you're just counting the boiling, um, you have that mashing part and it takes, I think, 45 minutes or an hour. I think it might have to sit for an hour. But, so, you know, you gotta figure that into your time calculation. Um, I would definitely do this one again. And I probably want to do more mini mashes in future episodes. See what kind of better taste I get. I wish Northern Brewer had more um, extract brews that were also partial mashes so that you compare between the two. Um, Austin Homebrew Supply does just about every recipe you can get a mini mash version or even an all grain version. So that may be an avenue I'm gonna have to go. You know, try an extract version of something. If I like it, try the mini mash, see which is better. I would imagine mini mash or all grain would generally be better, but I, I don't know that for sure. I know there's a lot more satisfaction than doing the all grains, but like I said before, I'm not set up for that. Now, when it comes to partial mashes, um, you're really quite limited on the recipes if you like to go to a specific homebrew shop or, or online supplier, I should say, like Northern Brewer Midwest. But Austin's uh, homebrew supply seems, you know, that would be the place to go, I guess. But I have a kind of an issue with the fact that I can't see what the recipes are. Which they're very protective over the recipes for some reason. I know it's proprietary. We have to make our own money. Then I've heard of people getting in trouble for posting the recipes online. But it's kind of a, you know, if I can see the recipe, it kind of tells me would I like that beer. I mean, I don't want to just go buy a beer because the, the name of it sounds good. You know, Then I see something actually there are... You know, maybe there's an ingredient in it that I absolutely don't like, and now I've bought this recipe. Now I'm going to be stuck with five gallons of beer that I'm probably going to hate. Now, in all honesty, in all reality, I have I don't know of any beer ingredients so far where I've just got, you know. No, there is one. Rye. Don't want rye. Don't like rye. Which is funny because I'm rye in you think I would be the king of rye. All things rye. It would be this guy. No. No, I can't stand this stuff. I've had a couple beers that were made with rye. I'll, I'll keep trying rye beers, but I don't like them. I don't know, something. Uh, they have just a weird sweetness to them or something. Uh, just something about it. I don't like it all. So I try to avoid those. And if there just happens to be a beer that's not labeled right, it doesn't say rye in the title, and I order it, I'll be kind of pissed. Now, I'm sure a rye beer is going to be labeled as a rye beer on their website, so I'm not trying to accuse them of sneaking something in. There's no rye conspiracy. Or is there? Hmm. Anyway, sorry. Got off track here. Anyway, holidays are coming up. You're probably all panicking. What am I going to get? My parents, my grandparents, uncles, aunts, whatever. I have an idea. Maybe you've thought about this. If you're a home brewer like myself, you like to try to get as many more people into the craft. Now I know what you're thinking. Ryan, I don't want to spend over hundred and some dollars trying to get my folks set up to home brew. No, it's Christmas. I'm not, I don't want to spend all that on them. 
calm down. Calm down. You'll be all right. Okay? I got a, I got an idea for you. One gallon brewing. Yes, it exists. It's real. You don't have to make five gallons of beer. You can make, or you can buy, and you can probably create your own kit too. I mean, if you just want to go to your local shop, if they don't have one gallon kits. But some of the online suppliers, specifically um, Midwest Supply and Northern Brewer, and I, I really should be name dropping. They're not giving me any money, but I don't know, maybe someday. Uh, they have one gallon kits. And here's the best part. I believe it's Midwest Supplies not only has extract one gallon kits available, they have all grain. Which I wouldn't imagine being very difficult because you're working with a lot smaller uh, amount of grain. I think probably just about anyone could do it in their home. I could probably even do it. And I'm not I'm not set up to do all grain for five gallon batches, and I just like making five gallon batches. That's what I have stuff for. But um, anyway. Get a little advanced there. You can get one gallon extract starter kits. You know, they come with a glass, one little one gallon, you know, glass carboy. I think I showed one before. The siphon, the bottle filler. Um, if you go a Northern Brewer, it'll even come with a recipe. I got my dad one for his birthday back in October. It had the White House Honey Porter. I don't know if you can still get that, you know, as a kit. That recipe came with the kit, and thought he would like like it. Also, I wanted to try the honey porter again. And I didn't buy it for myself. Maybe five gallons of it. I've made, I've made the honey ale. That's pretty good. At least Northern Brewers version. Derivative. Northern Brewers derivative of that recipe. I don't know. Anyway, so you can get a one gallon starter kit. The funny thing was, my dad didn't actually use his until the day after Thanksgiving. He brewed up the one gallon honey porter. He enjoyed it so much that we found Northern Brewers having a really good deal where he bought a um, Dead Ringer recipe kit, which I think is their version of Bell's Two Hearted Ale. And if you bought a $35 kettle and use some promo code, you got the whole five gallon starter kit for free. So you spend 80 bucks, you get another $80 product for free. He got it. He bought it. He brewed one gallon once, and then he was all game for five. Heck yeah, he already has the recipe in the uh, kettle today, he told me. So that's kind of cool. We'll see if uh, he can figure out how to bottle on his own. I have a feeling I'll be making a trip down there. Well, actually, no. Because I'm going to be busy about the time it needs to be bottled, so he's going to have to figure it out. I'll probably have to give him some pointers on that one. But he's going to be lucky because he'll have his uh, bottling bucket from his five-gallon kit to use instead of trying to use the auto siphon to bottle. I've tried to do that, folks. Nah. Nah. Not a van. You need another set of hands if you're going to do that. I might rather just use a bottle of bucket. Well, looks like I'm uh, running out of time this week. Hope you all had a good Thanksgiving. Uh, I guess I'll see you next a couple weeks, even before uh, the holidays are here upon us. Or if they're already upon us. I don't Hanukkah, I don't know. I'm not, I don't know about Hanukkah or Kwanzaa when all that happens. Oh, whoa, what? My subscriber count is falling. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have subscribers. Anyway, have a good week. We'll see you next week when I talk about something. And maybe I'll know what that is by next week instead of the night I need to record. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. Google Plus, uh, at Rye Channel, R-Y-C-H-A-N-N-E-L. I don't know how you find me on Google Plus. Nobody uses Google Plus. But um, if you like the video, 
give me a thumbs up. Maybe type a little comment in there. You know, some effect of, you suck! Or, you know, if you liked it, maybe not say that I sucked. No. Anyway, cheers. And have a good week.